<laughs> Hello from the Dukas Copy TV studio in Geneva. We are back with a review of the markets with independent technical analyst Bruno Estje. Welcome to the studio, Mr. Estje. Good morning, Daniel. So we are back in the bullish on the bullish side. So actually, what equity markets are you particularly looking to? At? Well, I think uh, the most impressive is certainly the Japanese market. As we see, uh, we are at new highs on the Nikkei. But also we are making new highs on the relative strengths and uh, the momentum is moving up on uh, the stochastic and the MACD. Mm -hmm. So actually, what is your targets uh, on the coming weeks for the Well, UK? here we need uh, to look at really the very long term charts since the 1990s. And uh, we notice first that we are at 20,800. 20,800, this is this first red line, which is a former uh, resistance in the past so it should uh, hold the market maybe uh, a few days and when it will be broken uh, then it will move up to the next uh, high which is uh, two years earlier in at 22,800 so that's uh, the direction of the market but still we need to be a bit careful in the sense that if we recall right uh, 22,500 that was our target uh, at the beginning of this year so to what we're going to do is, is follow this uptrend and see as I remain with it as long as uh, it doesn't weaken. For example, uh, we would consider a sign of weakness if we would break back below the 20,100, but that's not yet the case. Mm -hmm. Are you also this bullish for the European equities? Europe is uh, a little bit different. Why is it different? Because first of all, on the relative strength, we had uh, three months uh, continuing descending downtrend for the relative strength versus the S&P 500. So that means uh, a lot of people have moved out of uh, Europe already. Now, uh, it's obviously here uh, a nice reversal. It's re risen uh, back to 50% of the distance between the top and the bottom, and uh, the momentum is moving up. So what we expect is to at least see uh, the top of the range around 3,800. But uh, only above these 4,800 levels, we will be speaking about 4,100. Until then, I uh, will re say we remain in wide range, 38 to 3,400. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let us look to the emerging economies. So what's your outlook for India, for example? Uh, so let's look at India. From March, we had already a, a big correction going on. And uh, already in May, we had a signal that the correction could end. In, indeed, it's what's happening, and now we have a confirmation after the momentum signal. We have the break of the descending trend line, and uh, the relative strength is moving up a little bit against emerging market and also against uh, the S&P. So, uh, this Indian market should uh, revisit uh, the previous high around uh, 29 here. Mm -hmm. And what are the perspectives for China? We we'll used to like China, but let's look at the Chinese market uh, here we had. In April, a big parabolic acceleration above the Bollinger Band, so it was kind of too much too fast. And then it broke down with a gap uh, in June. So far, we, what we have is, is a signal that maybe the correction is coming to an end. We have a buy signal on the stochastic here, but we need to see more uh, development on the price action and on the relative strength to really recommend again this uh, area. So far we are a bit cautious. Mm -hmm. So let's also look to the US equities. Are you still bullish for the US stocks? Well, before we, we look at uh, the, the US uh, S&P 500, let's look at the small and mid cap. And something happened last week. As we see here on the top chart, we have the Russell uh, 2000, the small cap. It's make new highs. And the mid cap is also making a new high. So this is good news in theory because it means that all different stocks are participating on the way up, so that means there is breath in the market. When we look at the S&P 500, uh, the composites give us a little bit different uh, impression because we are still below the former high of 21.35, but it clearly has, it remains on, on a, with a momentum which is moving up. So uh, here what, what we, we need to, to realize is that uh, Maybe the high is coming. Mm -hmm. And so why are you still on the bullish side? I'm still on bullish side a little bit uh, by retro pedaling. Uh, if we, you see here, when we were at 2070, uh, we failed to break it down. 
So this is, it has to be taken as a positive sign. If we are not, no momentum on the downside, that means there is enough momentum on the upside. And that's what we expect. Also, there is something else that uh, we are looking at. We are looking at subsectors, which mm -hmm. are uh, really making new highs. Mm -hmm. And which subsectors would you particularly focus on? Well, I would f like to focus on, on three subsectors, and I think it is important because portfolio manager during the late part of a bull market, and we have been in this bull market for quite a while, I uh, have to focus on the stronger sectors. That means the sector which are outperforming the the S&P 500 with this relative strength ratio moving up to new highs, which is the case for the health care. As we see that, that these new highs have been done now for more than, than two years. And also we see a new high here on the sector itself. So we are basically projecting uh, the width of this triangle direction 78-81. Another sector which is uh, not bad is a discretionary. Discretionary presents another technical aspect. It has been moving in a very, very narrow range, so narrow that it was able to bring down these Bollinger Bands to a kind of a narrowing effect, and now it breaks above it. So that means that not only we are making new highs on the price of the sectors, but also in the coming weeks, we could have an increase in volatility nurturing this uptrend. And that's, that's a good news, as we see here on the momentum moving up. And finally, we do have uh, financials. There, the, the, the rise is more gradual, uh, but it has been steady. Uh, the relative strength has been a bit hectic, sometimes moving sharply up, sh sometimes sharply down, but it's still on a nice uptrend. So uh, here with new highs, uh, we could expect also this sector to, to help the S&P, like the two others, to make new highs probably during a summer rally for the coming month of July. Thank you very much, Mr. SJ, for being here today and sharing this information. You're with welcome. Us. And thanks for watching. Do make sure to keep clicking back on the Dukas Copy TV website for latest updates and exclusive interviews. See you next time and have a good day.